Is anyone there? Uh, hi. Hello, this is Oles with DS Man, and a new Sonic game just came out, and it's Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, the thing is, is that I've already played Sonic Colors Ultimate, actually. Uh, I pre-ordered it digitally and physically, so I got the, like, early access digital deluxe thingy, so I got to play it on September 3rd instead of September 7th, and I pre-ordered it digitally on my Xbox One X, and all my experiences with Sonic Colors Ultimate, uh, at least regarding that version, have been positive, despite some minor things like uh, I don't like the sound mixing, the audio mixing, and some of the hitches in the menus. But uh, I have not played the Switch version, and I got the Switch version physically, so that's what we're going to be unboxing today. And I'm going to do like a first impressions kind of thing as well on the Switch version specifically. Now I'd just like to reiterate that I've already played Sonic Colors Ultimate and I've recorded a whole like, Let's Play series on that basically. Um, well most of the way at least. And I haven't uploaded the first episode yet. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and dig into this shit. Uh, but yeah, I pre-ordered the game two times. I was just that excited for it. And, uh, yeah, because I fucking love Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors is a good-ass game. You guys already know. I'm a huge Sonic fan, so, you know. You know what had to be done. I wanted it, I wanted it physically, but I also wanted to play it early as well. So, like, yeah. But here we go. So I have the Switch version now. Uh, physically. Here we are. Sonic Colors Ultimate. Oh, here we go. Here's the box for it. Let me get this out of here. Here's the box for it. There it is. Sonic Colors Ultimate. This is a Switch box. It includes a baby Sonic keychain from the Sonic movie. And uh, yeah, which is really cool because I don't really have any Sonic movie merchandise besides a t-shirt and the movie on Blu-ray and that's about it. So yeah, because I can't find any of those damn plushies anymore and when you do find them online. They're pretty expensive now actually, but yeah, here's the box art that you've probably seen. I really like the box art, honestly. It's really nice. Here's the back of it. Experience non-stop action at sonic speed. Use powerful wisp to harness unique abilities. Better than ever with stunning visuals. Color the universe. Join Sonic in the high speed intergalactic adventure of a lifetime. I gotta say, this box art is pretty clean though. Like the back of this Sonic's pose right there and everything, that looks clean. That honestly looks really nice and there's just a bunch of legal stuff. And yeah, it feels really, really light. And it looks really nice too. So uh, yeah, I might get the PS4 version at some other point, but I don't really need a third version of this game. But like, of course, diehard Sonic fan over here, so... Gotta get all the versions. I mean, I don't have to. No one's forcing me. I just want to. <laughs> I'd even need to buy it twice. I just wanted to play a bit early. And plus, I heard that the Xbox version is one of the best versions of Colors Ultimate, apparently. So I was like, hell yeah, dude. Why not? So, uh, yeah. So I have heard, obviously, that the Switch version is the, like, the version that has the most issues, if you've seen like the seizure glitches that have been going around, um, yeah. The seizure glitches are actually like legit glitches wrong with the Switch version. It's only in the Switch version by the way. Uh, some glitches found on like Twitter around the time when that whole thing was a buzz. Some people actually fake glitches using a Switch emulator and that was a whole situation. So it's like the, um, basically the teams on the, like the PR team for example. They're having a harder time figuring out which glitches are legit and which are fake. Which is really unfortunate and it's going to slow down the Q&A process of um, fixing those glitches via patches. So that's really unfortunate. So here's the case for Sonic Colors Ultimate. The Switch case at least. Very, very nice. The same thing on the back. Open it up. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> We're going to have to censor that because it showed a code. Hang on. It shows a code for Ultimate Icon Pack. And this wasn't included in the digital version, but I'll show a little bit of it 
redeem this, you get those cool little icons. Nothing too uh, noteworthy besides the cool 2D art of classic Amon Sonic right there, but yeah, I had to blur that out. I'm probably just going to redeem it instantly anyways, but whatever. And here we have the cartridge. It's very, very tiny. Use my hand so it focuses. There we are. There's the cartridge. And here's the case for it. And I'm going to get out the little baby Sonic keychain. Oh snap, oh it's so tiny! Look at that! It's awesome. I really wish we got like a... Because Japan got this really cool like Sonic 30th anniversary like art book and shit. And I really wish we would have gotten something like that. But like, this is still really cool though. Because I don't really have any like movie Sonic... A uh, movie Sonic merch. But yeah, there he is. Very nice, very nice. Here's the back of him. I really wish we would have gotten that uh, Life of Sonic the Hedgehog art book. But, you know, it'd be like, ooh, shit, sorry. It'd be like that, I guess. But, yeah, there's Baby Sonic right there. And we're going to go ahead and pop the game in and see how it is. Now, in terms of recording the gameplay for this, I'm actually just going to leave it like this. I'm not going to get out my PBR. And then I'll be like, Eric, what the fuck, man? Why don't you just record it with your Elgato? Listen, man, okay? It's going to be seen as super cool in the future by just recording it with a damn camera like I used to do back in, like, what, 2013? Listen, man, I'm just ahead of the curve, okay? I'm not lazy. But, no, the reason why I'm doing this is so that, like, you see, I don't know, like, you see it that's on the Switch itself because, like, if I just record it with an Elgato, then, like, you're not going to notice that big of a difference. But I wanted to, like, show it in handheld mode and, like, just show you what it looks like and basically all that shit. So we got Sonic Colors Ultimate right there. You get to see other games I play. I really like rhythm games, if you couldn't tell. That one's a good one. It's very hard, though, on the Switch, but, yeah. I had to play some Sonic Colors Ultimate. All right, guys, let's go ahead and boot up Sonic Co should I not do the patch to see how glitchy it is? No, we're gonna download the patch. And we just gotta wait on it. This is a really dumb way to record the video, even... You know, I literally have an Elgato. I have, like, two PVRs. Actually, three. I have three PVRs. And I'm recording it like this, like a fucking tool. <laughs> 25 hours! You see that? An hour and 35 minutes. The fuck, boy? Why is it taking so long? Oh, wait. It's probably because I'm downloading something on my computer. Yo, shouts to Ray Ayanami, by the way. I'm downloading the best game ever made. <laughs> so, I'm actually gonna pause that real quick. There we go. Let's we'll see if that helps. <laughs> Let's see. Did that help at all? Uh... Yeah, I think so. In the meantime, look at my wallpapers that I have. We're gonna go through all the wallpapers I have for no reason. Just because... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I sing a song for you? <laughs> like a big pizza pie. That's more Ray. Mario has taken over my computer. Okay, that's enough Mario. Look at all these freaking things. I even got GameCube. Look, it's GameCube. It's got the ambience. You even got the ambience. It was shouts to the best game ever made wallpaper engine. Best game ever made right here. I got tons of these fucking things. Of all kinds of stuff. We got Sonic Mania special stages. We got we got this we got Maddion. We got all kinds of stuff. We got Kirby. This one's really sick. How much long does this have? Two minutes. Okay. We got this Kirby one. Uh we got all these Miku and Vocaloid ones. Shot some of my favorite uh Vocaloid songs. Ghost Roll right here. 
And we got like World is Mine, Break, uh, Break It, Break It. We got Sand Planet, uh, Jigsaw P uh, Puzzle, Jigsaw Puzzle. All kinds of ones. A lot of my favorite like Vocaloid songs because I'm a Vocaloid loser. We got a bunch of Ava stuff because I love Evangelion. I have not watched the Rebuild films yet though. I need to get to that. And the new, uh, the new movie that came out. We got... Tomoko, of course. We got Tomoko. It's got one minute left, apparently. We got all kinds of ones. Well, I think it's done now. What else do we got on here? We got Persona 5. You can barely see that because of the glare and the lights. Uh, yeah, Persona 5. Persona 5. There we go. It's Persona 5. Oh my god, we got Shelter. Yep, that glacier from Shelter. We've got a bunch of Sonic ones right here. Speaking of Sonic colors, look, Tropical Resort. Anyways, though, we're going to go back to this. Go back to the grind right now. So we got Sonic colors ready to go. And we're going to see how it is on the Nintendo Switch. Even though I've already played Sonic Colors Ultimate and I know what it's like. I don't know what the Switch version's like. I wanted to do an unboxing thingamajig, so... Yeah, here we are. So, we're going to see how this is and all that sh shit. Even though I've already played Sonic Colors Ultimate. Right, here's the intro. Oh, nice, dude. Hell yeah. I love Sonic Colors. So, if you want to know my opinions about uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate so far... I actually am enjoying myself. Like, I know it's not the most perfect port. It has its issues and stuff. But I'm really enjoying my time with it. And, uh... I think me playing the Xbox version first really helped me get a great first impression of it. Um... But yeah. Despite its issues, my biggest problem with it is the audio mixing. The audio mixing is just bad. Straight up bad. Um, but I love how it looks. I think it looks incredible. Um, and how it looks is one of my favorite things about it, honestly. Again, it's just my biggest issue is the audio mixing, the hitches in the menu, and the, uh, the glitches people have been encountering. Now, granted, I haven't been encountering a lot of glitches in my, uh, you know, my time playing it on the Xbox, but the, most of the glitches people have been having, especially like the seizure ones, have been from the Switch version. So, yeah. The CGI is sick, by the way. I take a lot of pictures, I'm sorry. Of my boys. I love Sonic Colors. Fucking love this game. Ultimate has really made me realize how much I like Sonic Colors. Like, I've always preferred Colors over Unleashed, but like... You know, playing it again via Ultimate has been like, dude, I freaking love colors, man. Alright, let's check out that frame rate. Oh yeah, it's not 60. I mean, that's, I expected that, you know. It's not a big deal or anything. Alright, let's go to New Game, turn that off. I'm gonna go to Act 1, Shuffle Resort. Here we go, boys. That's gonna be really uncomfortable because of the way my wrists are on this table. And the loading times in Ultimate are a bit longer than in the original colors. Which is a bit unfortunate, but... I hope you guys like my Joy-Cons, by the way. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. It looks a bit different, yeah. I feel like the bloom looks a bit different in the Switch version, actually. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the brightness up a tad. Yeah. Maybe I'm just crazy, but this, the, the bloom... Oh, wait, I forgot to... Hold on, we're going back. I forgot to adjust the controls because uh, for some reason boost is A and then slide's gonna be Y. And that's how it was in the Xbox version. Really? The freaking, there's no music. Oh god, okay, this is a <laughs> great start. Lovely start here. Alright, so we're gonna go to controls, we're gonna go to slide, and boost. Yeah, here we go. So boost is gonna be that. Slide's gonna be this. Okay. 
That's how it should be. That's so weird that uh, that was a default. Like, this is slide nets boost. Like, no, we're not doing that. Oh, the music's gone again. Come on, man. Not a great first impression, Sonic Colors Ultimate from Nintendo Switch. Here's the world map. I'm gonna turn down the brightness again. Uh, we'll leave it like that. Let's go back to here. Okay. Let's actually play this level for real. I'm gonna turn up a tad bit. I'm ready. So yeah, the Switch version does look a bit different in terms of like, I don't know if the bloom is different. Yeah, something about this is different, dog. I'm definitely noticing. Alright, that's way better. A hey, to slide. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot different. Something about it's different. Oh, give me that red metal. Ugh, there we go. <laughs> that was a really stupid way of doing that, but hey, it worked. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I know it's the Switch. It doesn't look that bad. It's definitely a downgrade, but... You know, it's going to be a downgrade to some degree. That perfect homing attack sound is like awful, dude. That's so freaking loud. It's way too freaking loud. Again, my biggest problem with Ultimate has been with the uh, sound mixing. I think that's the, my biggest issue with it. Because I think it looks great. It's just the sound mixing I have a problem with. Great. Awesome. Outstanding. I think it's amazing. Is there red metal somewhere? No, there's one down here, yeah. It's right here. That's the third one though, I'm missing one. Oh, whatever, I'm just gonna go. We're just gonna go with it, save some time here. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I know it's a switch. It can only look so good, you know. I don't know, dog. It doesn't look too bad to me. Or maybe I'm just being too generous. Maybe I am. Who knows? Maybe I just need to be an asshole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not calling people that criticize this being assholes. I'm just being dumb. Don't take me seriously, please. Because, like, the problems Ultimate has are definite issues that need to be addressed. Especially with the Switch version. With the crazy gl Whoa, that looks a lot darker. What the heck? That's odd. Yeah, I definitely noticed that. That's weird that it looks a bit darker. Not a big deal. Oh, look at that. It's got a little achievement thing. That's like exclusive to the Switch version, actually. Yeah, I think we're about to have a cutscene. I think so. Maybe? Um, are we gonna have a cutscene? Hold on, let me mute my damn PC. Shut up, PC. Uh, we're we gonna have a cutscene here. What's happening right now? What's, what's happening? Is it still running? Yeah, did it crash? Oh no, dude. Dude, no, you can't be doing this to me while filming. You're gonna make yourself look worse. Did it actually crash? No, dude, come on. I know the Switch version had issues, but I didn't know it was going to be this bad. No, dude, did it crash? I mean, I think it fucking did. We're going to have to restart it. Alright, uh... That's lovely. Literally, <laughs> literally, I, the moment I started playing the Switch version, I ran into issues. Like, with the music stopping and the... Then that happening. I don't know if it crashed or what. I don't know what happened there. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Because, like, when I played this game on my uh, Xbox One X, I had, like, no issues, honestly. Besides that one Starlight Carnival Act 3 glitch, but that happened in all versions, apparently. And the PR team said they're going to be working on glitches, and like Katie said, you know, they're trying to take feedback and doing a Q&A process with the whole patching glitches thing. 
What the heck? It didn't even save me completing this act. Look, it says zero. I don't know if you can, yeah, it says that I didn't even beat this level when I clearly just did. I guess it must have crashed then. Yeah, what the frick, dude? Alright, time to do this level again. I'll probably cut this out. That's really unfortunate. Like, the moment I start playing the Switch version, I run into issues. Like, granted, I know, like, my time with the, um, Xbox version wasn't, like, 100% flawless or anything because I ran into some, like, minor issues. Like, the, uh... Damn it, I missed it again. There we go. Like, um, sometimes on the results screen, the music will cut out. But, like, they're, like, small things, you know? Things I could forgive, you know? Not, like, me having to restart the game or anything like that. That's kind of like, okay, really, my dude? But, yeah, out of all the versions, the Switch version needs, like, the most attention when it comes to patches. I don't even know if I crashed right there, but I'm assuming it freaking did, because I don't know what happened there. I don't know. I mean, it looks okay for a Switch game, though. It seems like, you know, this version, at least. Oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the second red medal. I just realized that because in fact I don't have a drill wisp. I can get this one though. There we go. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to keep going this way. I'm going to turn down the brightness a little bit more. Okay. And I'm going to take this. I know I can jump over that and boost. But I want this token. So, and there's a red medal over here. But yeah, my biggest problems with Ultimate have been the audio mixing, the hitches in the menu, and the glitches. But in my playthroughs of it, um, well, my pay my uh, let's play of it at least, I haven't really run into any issues or any like major issues. Uh, it's mostly just been like minor stuff. But I haven't had to, like, restart the game or anything. Like I just had to do, basically. Okay, see, yeah, it did crash then. What the frick? Now we're going on to Act 2. So, yeah, it must have crashed then. That's not a good first impression, dog. But, yeah, I haven't had really any issues with the Xbox version, besides some minor stuff, but... I've heard pretty bad stuff about the Switch version, though, so... If you want this game, just be wary of that. As of right now, I'm recording this at least around the launch of this game, because this game just came out yesterday, um, you know, officially at least, if you don't count the early digital pre-order thingamajig. But yeah, Ultimate has made me really just realize how much I like Sonic Colors, because Sonic Colors is such a good-ass game. I just really, really like and enjoy. In terms of modern Sonic, I feel like he controls better here than a lot of other modern Sonic games, honestly. Like, I think I prefer how he feels here than Generations, even though that's probably kind of a weird opinion. I mean, he feels great in Generations, too. It's just, like, his general, like, mobility, like him not running around, just him walking around, feels really kind of... It feels okay, it's just... I know, it could be a bit better though. It's not where it should be, you know? And I feel like Colors feels a bit better in that regard when he's just like casually moving around and stuff. I'm just trying to get this fucking token. No! Ah, oh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that. Alright, so there's a token over here. Yeah. And there's a red metal over here. Go ahead and bam. Yeah. I know for a long time I said that I prefer Lost World over Colors, and I think that still might be true. But, like, Colors is like, I might put it up there a bit more now, playing it again. Because I haven't played Colors in a hot minute, you know. And Colors Ultimate has made me realize how much I like this game. I really like Colors, it's a great game. I've always been on the color side of fence. I've always preferred it over Unleashed. 
but um, you know, playing Ultimate has made me really realize how much I like this game. Like, I think I would put colors in like A tier, honestly, or like at least at least A tier or maybe B tier. Not nah, A tier, A tier definitely. Like, I, I understand the people that don't like this game. I can completely understand that. You know, it's their opinion. You know, their opinion is completely valid and fine. It's just me personally. I really like Colors. Colors is a great game. And it's really cool to have on the Switch now. I'm going to skip this cutscene because I've already seen it. There we go. But yeah, I actually own like two copies of Colors on the Wii, and now I own two copies of Ultimate. So, and plus I have Colors DS too, so it's a lot of colors to go around. We're gonna go to Act 3, Tropical Resort. But yeah, it's not a 60 FPS, you know, which is a shame. It would have been really cool if it was, you know, but um, it is what it is. I think the Switch version looks a bit different too in terms of like the bloom. Yeah, it, it definitely looks like it looks a tad bit different. Also, I don't know if I have the Sonic Movie Boost because I technically like pre-ordered this, so I don't know if I like have that or not. I'll have to check that out, I don't know. I'm not sure if I have that or not actually. Or is that just exclusive to the digital deluxe version? I think that might be exclusive to the digital deluxe version. Probably. So I won't be able to have the movie Sonic content on this version. Which is unfortunate. Because I really like the movie Sonic cosmetic. It's really fucking dope. But oh well. That's fine. I'd rather have it on the... I'd rather have that on the 4K version. Rather than the portable version. That's just my opinion though. Alright, we'll go up here. I don't know what's up here. There's not much up here, I don't think. That sound effect's way too fucking loud, though. Again, the sound mixing is my biggest complaint. Cause that, that sound effect is way louder than it should be. But yeah, overall, though, I've been really enjoying Colors Ultimate. Like, it's not a perfect port, and I'm not gonna sit here and say it has zero issues. But at least on the Xbox One X, like, I've been really enjoying myself and my time with it. And I've been trying to get all the red medals and stuff and just playing a lot in my free time. In fact, I'm supposed to be working on a lot of videos right now and I have a test that I gotta do today. But I just want to play some Sonic Colors, dude. Like, honestly. Like, I really just enjoy the shit out of this game. God, I hate that sound effect. Why do they have to make that so fucking loud? Jesus. Christ, the moly, dude. And I'm sure the team is going to, like, try to fix patches and, you know, fix glitches and whatnot. I really hope they do, because some of, this, uh, some of the glitches in the Switch version are just flat out unacceptable. And it's just really not good. So I really hope they address those. But overall, though, like, if you just want my, like, general opinion on Ultimate, I do enjoy Sonic Colors Ultimate. I've been really liking it, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. Because it's Sonic Colors, despite its issues it has with Ultimate, I do think it looks really nice graphically, and I'm just really happy that's on a Switch as well, which is really cool. Because I actually, I'm one of those people that, like, is a fan of how Ultimate looks graphically with, like, the new lighting and stuff. I know it's divisive among people, among people, but, like, I'm actually a big fan of it, I don't know. It looks really nice, especially, like, 4K and shit. I am, I'm actually a big fan of the new lighting. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, you can prefer the original lighting. That's completely fine. But I actually do like the new lighting. I think it looks nice. There is a lot of bloom, yes, but I really don't mind that at all. That's just... That's a personal preference thing. You know, people are going to disagree with you on that. Completely valid and fine, though. If you disagree with me on that. And I, I really like the new remixes, too. Like, I definitely prefer the original Sweet Mountain, though, over the Sweet Mountain remixes. But, like, every other remix, though, I actually really like. Um, and, yeah, I think it's really cool they didn't, like, new music as well. Terminal Velocity? Jesus fucking Christ, that shit makes me cream. Like, the original song 
made me nut already. And that remix they did for it? Jesus fuck, dude. And the Reach for the Stars remix? My dude. I really like the Planet Wisp remixes as well. And it's over. <laughs> I didn't get all the red medals, but... God, that stage is short as fuck. I definitely could have gotten all the red medals, but whatever. I definitely want to get all the red medals. Don't know if I'll do it in this version, but... You know. Definitely, when I have breaks at work, I will definitely be playing this on my Switch. Because I just really like Sonic Colors, man. I'm definitely on the color side of the fence. Even though that's a really weird opinion, I know, but... Who cares? You guys already know I voice my opinions. Whatever weird, however weird they may be, you know. But so far, man, despite like it being at 30 FPS, I've been enjoying this, and despite the crash we had earlier... I just hope I don't run into anything super, super crazy. I heard, like, just generally speaking, other people playing the Switch version, they haven't been running into any, like, super huge issues. If you want my opinion on, like, a Jade Ghost Wisp, it's alright. It hasn't been, like, it's not really used in, like, a super, super duper interesting way, honestly, in Ultimate. It's just kind of there. You, you go to, like, new areas and stuff, which is cool. To see that in colors, like new areas and stuff, but it's not like, it's not anything mind-blowing or anything, is what I'm trying to say, basically. Nothing mind-blowing, but yeah, it's there. If you're interested in it. Bam, bitch, get the fuck out of the way. Yeah, you see my big-ass forehead. God, fucking Mega Mind over here. Mm. I'm gonna go... Hold on. This, they need to patch, like, the freaking laser wisp line, because it's so dim and hard to see. They need to fix that, because that's super... Like, I've gotten used to it now, but, like... Dude, that's so hard to see, though. Like, you probably can't even see it in the video, but I can see it, barely. There we go. Can I get a tail save? Yes, I can. Oh! Yes, I can, because I'm a gamer. Alright, uh, let's see. I really want that red metal down there, so... I don't know if I got it or not. But, whatever. We're already here, so it's fine. Give me that. It wants us to wall jump up here, I remember now. And alternate exit. There we go. I think I'm gonna wrap up the video pretty soon, though. But yeah, the Switch version isn't too bad so far, even though I've heard pretty, pretty crazy things happening, though, with the Switch version, involving, like, the seizure glitches and stuff, but apparently some people have tried to do it, like, yesterday and today, they haven't been able to recreate it, so maybe they patched it out, I don't know, but yeah. I'm not gonna try to do the seizure glitch in this video, because I don't want to expose potential seizure inducing imagery to my audience. I feel like that's pretty irresponsible of me. So I'm not gonna do that here. Or I'll, I'll attempt it in my own time, but not in this fucking video. So if you want my opinions on Sonic Colors Ultimate for Nintendo Switch, it definitely is like a downgrade in terms of graphically and the frame rate, of course. It does look a bit different, yeah. Um, but so far it hasn't been too bad for me. It's literally just the same game. Uh, just on the switch basically um, And if you run into any issues, hopefully they will get uh, get patched in the future because they're watching They're Oh my god. They're working on patches right now. I can't talk. I'm sorry But I hope you all enjoyed this video uh, Be expecting the full let's play series pretty soon on Sonic Colors Ultimate and that's gonna be the Xbox one X version uh, not the switch version and uh yeah, it's really cool to have Sonic Colors on the Switch, even though people have been having run into some issues, which I'm not going to try to ignore. Um, but I, I really, I think I really do like Sonic Colors Ultimate, because I really like the lighting, the new remixes and stuff, the customizable Sonic shit. Let me go check if I have the movie Sonic stuff. I don't think I do, but I'm going to check this to make sure, because I don't know. Because I did pre-order the game, but that might be exclusive to the digital Okay, see, look. 
In the Switch version, it doesn't hitch as long, because in the Xbox version, it has the longest amount of time. That takes like six seconds. In the PS4 version, it's like four seconds. In the Switch version, it's like two seconds. Which, granted, I wish it wasn't there to begin with, but that's not as bad, at least. So, I'm gonna see... No, I don't think so. Yeah, see, it's not in this version. So, it is just what the digital deluxe version. I mean, that's fine. Not a huge deal. At least I have the movie Sonic Cosmetic in one version of the game I own. So that's fine. It's not like a huge deal. I just want to make sure. But yeah, the whole customizable Sonic thing is one of my favorite things about Ultimate. Because I love customizable shit. And I get to customize my Sonic and make him look cool as fuck. That's one of my favorite things about Ultimate. Honestly, this right here. It's something not everyone's going to care for. But I just think it's really nifty and cool. Because I really like the Avatar and Forces. So... It's just something I really like, but uh, I think that'd be it for the video though, so I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions of the Switch version specifically, um, and be sure to catch my Let's Play of Sonic Colors Ultimate if you want to watch me play the game for the very first time, and uh, yeah, I mean not, not, not play Sonic Colors for the very first time, just playing Sonic Colors Ultimate for the very first time. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. It's kind of a whatever video I know. But I definitely wanted to like make content about this game because this game's kind of a huge deal right now. You know, I'm a huge Sonic guy. Sonic's one of my favorite franchises ever. If my favorite franchise ever, basically. And I had to make some videos about it. Be expecting the full Let's Play. I'll probably upload this one first. But uh, yeah. So this is Ultra DS Man, signing off. Thanks for watching.